This is my friend Robert Strauss, former Olympian, Miami resident, and he recently was inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame. He has a lot to say about coaching and teaching kids to swim. Hello, Mark and friends. I'm Mark Router Klaus. This is Coach Robert Strauss in Miami, Florida, to tell you a quick story on safety in, around, and under the water. About eight years ago, my granddaughter was about one and a half. Her mom came to our home where we had a pool in those days. I no longer have a pool in my home and I'm very happy because I always wonder how many more children need to drown before they cancel pools in the home and build jacuzzis. And then people could go to the community centers, to the municipal pools, and really learn to swim properly instead of having these death traps for two-year-olds in the home. Long story short, my daughter-in-law leaves my granddaughter on the steps and walks away to about 30 feet down where the picnic bench was in the pool in those days. What did the little girl do? Like always, stood up on the steps and bang it in the water. Well, little did I know that that was a good remedy to impede children from jumping or touching water. What happened to her? Well, the moment the little girl stood up and jumped in, I just heard the scream, the baby's drowning. Needless to say, we all ran to the pool, but calmly, our reaction was, what would the baby have to do if we weren't here at this moment? Okay, well, my son was the first one to get to his daughter. He turned her around gently and shoved her over to the steps. Then she recovered herself. Bottom line is the child had been inside the water maybe five or 10 seconds and nothing happened to her because she was rescued in a way that she kind of rescued herself. Now this little girl today at nine, she swims amazing, but after the incident, she didn't go near the pool unless the dad took her or I took her or the mom took her. And that was a big blessing. Fast forward eight months later, my other son has a little boy now who's getting a little rambunctious around the pool. And I said to my son, you know what? It might not be a bad idea if you let him fall in. I remember eight months ago when Sienna did the thing that she fell in and then she learned to stay away from it. Bottom line, guys, this story I tell you, I'm a coach since 1973, 74 school year. I've been a WSI and a lifeguard trained person a long time. And I tell everybody in a joke, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I grow up, but the last 50 years have been amazing. I will tell you, if the little children are roaming around the pool, you must say, be careful, you're gonna get wet and allow them to fall. Because you know what? Nobody dies in those first six, eight, 10 or 15 seconds, even in 30. The only problem with the pool incident is if you don't see it, chances are you don't hear it. So you set the stage and you warn the child, be careful you're gonna get wet. If he does fall while you're watching, watch a little bit longer. Maybe they turn around and grab the wall. But if they don't, don't yank them out and smack them a go. And I said, I told you a thousand times not to go near the pool. On the contrary, allow him to recover and come back out and then as the, you know or, or you know when they fell in you turn them around and you make them you help them to grab and when they see you you just say you scared everybody you're too little to go by yourself guess what that little boy didn't go near the pool for months again until he learned to swim so instead of spending millions of lessons with the under fours if you're not ready for your under four to learn to swim and you know, working on that deadly back float and forcing them to swim, get them the opportunity to swim. And if you have any questions in your mind, set up the stage for the accident. It keeps them away from the pool. Thank you very much for the time. Robert's introducing us to what he calls the ignorance of consequences, something that one and a half year olds have. They also have a big melon on top of their shoulders which makes them quite top heavy. 
So thanks for all you do, Robert. He's on Instagram at swim underline gym. He runs a podcast, and we wish you the best.